Hello everyone. Ah. Uh, oh. Sorry. Let me grab a tissue. Ah. Actually, this tissue is going to be very helpful because now we are going to talk about three sounds that if we do them correctly, we will be able to make a tissue move. The first sound is k. We make this sound by touching the backs of our mouths with our tongues, like this. K. You make an explosive voiceless sound. K, k, k. If you are doing this sound correctly, you should be able to make your tissue move. K. Why don't you give it a try? We can hear the k sound in words like cake, crack, and keep. Let's practice. Cake, crack, keep. Can you do that? The next sound is the g sound. You make this sound by touching your tongue to the back of your mouth and making a sound in your vocal cords like this, g. Can you do that? G. You make an explosive voiced sound. G. Now, if you're doing this correctly, you should be able to move your tissue. It won't be as much as the k sound, but why don't we give it a try? G. G. We can hear the g sound in words like glug, hug, and pig. Let's practice those. Glug, hug, and pig. Now, if you want, you can practice with your tissue, but it will be a little bit more difficult. If you can't make the tissue move, don't worry. If you are making an explosive voiced sound, you are good to go. The next sound is the sound. You make this sound by relaxing your tongue and jaw and exhaling air like this. Can you do that? <sighs> if you put your hand in front of your mouth, you should feel warm air right here on your palm. <sighs> <sighs> you can also take your tissue and make it move. <sighs> <sighs> we can hear the <sighs> sound in hello, homework, and half. You can practice with your tissue. Hello, homework, half. So that is k, g, and h. Great work, everyone. Stay healthy, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.